My name is Brian Buckner, a certified golf course superintendent here at the Golf Club of Houston, uh, home of the Shell Houston Open. We have 36 holes here on the property, so we were having a, you know, it was an issue getting it all mowed out. So we uh, contacted Jamie, had him bring out the Trimax, and then we had a couple other guys come out, and it was obvious pretty quick that we could not only save a lot of labor, but provide a lot better quality cut. Uh, my name is Corey Phillips. I'm the equipment manager here at Golf Club of Georgia and Horseshoe Bend Country Club. Uh, we have 36 holes here at Golf Club and 18 holes down at Horseshoe Bend. I was the Most Valuable Technician Award winner last year, so I got an invite to the JIS. I get there and, and me and a friend of mine are walking through uh, the golf industry show floor just looking at equipment and something red caught my eye and the more I looked at it I knew I said, I've got to get my director to look at this tomorrow. I've got to. He's got to see this. So I brought him by the next day and we looked at it and talked about it and set up a demo and just fell in love with it. Jason Wiedemann, golf course superintendent here in, uh, at Cross Timbers Golf Course in Azle, Texas, which is just uh, outside of Fort Worth. We, uh, we purchased a Trimax Snake about uh, a little over six months ago. A little skeptical at first with uh, any rotary mower as far as a golf course finish. You know, you're looking for that fine cut that for many years has been delivered by real mowers and, and the such. And boy, since we've gotten it, the, the rough cut that we've gotten, the finish of cut, uh, just the quality, has, has really been great and really it surpassed anything I thought we'd see with a, a rotary mower. My name is Mike Holt. I'm the certified golf course superintendent here at Santee National Golf Club in Santee, South Carolina. I actually learned about the snake through a local side farm and it caught my interest. If I had two areas on the golf course that I wanted to mow, typically hard to maintain areas, mowed both of those areas fine with no problems. I wanted to see how it went over undulations, uh, how it floated. So we really, we really put it through some rough stuff here, making sure that it would float, that it would undulate, and that it didn't have a mismatching cut, uh, and it performed well. My name is Mike McCarty. I'm the superintendent at River Bend Golf Club in Floresville, Texas. We have about 185 acres, 30 of fairway, 3.2 of greens, so the rest is all rough and uh, that's what we bought the Trimax for. Even though they're four foot decks, you would think, you know, certain areas you would have an angle that you couldn't get, and it's, it's surprising that you, you do get those angles and you get them smoothly. So it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting deal in that regard. That was the big hidden surprise for me is how well it actually goes over mounds. I think just the terrain following capabilities, uh, the large rollers, you're not, worrying about caster wheels falling into a, a depression, a hole, you're not seeing any scalps. So the finish of cuts, because of those large rollers really, you know, like I said, surpasses anything you expect out of a rotary mower. The cut quality is actually <laughs> better than the self-contained mowers that we demoed. I guess the Sith action that the blades come through, uh, where they come through at an angle, uh, leaves a, a better aftercut appearance than a straight, long-bladed rough mower. These mowers are, are above and beyond the quality of cut. For one, the cut quality is tremendously better than our other units that we were using. We're not having to go back and blow material after we're done. Once it cuts, the dispersal is amazing. Uh, we don't have that mess. I guess another thing that is really uh, fantastic is the, the distribution of uh, clippings. Uh, you know, my front deck units will wad them up and put them in the balls, and then you got another project which is blowing that out and this disperses it evenly. You really don't see them, they're so distributed, so fine. Clippings is unbelievable. I've never seen a unit that disperses clippings like this. You don't have the clumping, you don't have the, the piles of clippings left behind it. It scatters them cleanly. You don't have to worry about sending out a blower behind the rough unit. And I'm starting to see the quality of the product that's being produced in the years to come. It's probably going to generate us more revenue because of the quality of turf we're able to maintain with the rough unit. Previously, it would take us uh, six to eight self-contained units to mow out about 27 holes a week is about as best we could do. So we're always missing about nine holes a week. And then with this unit here, I can run two of these units, mow out all 36 holes with one guy, and it's just quicker versus before we were creeping along to mow. This thing can just go, you know, one pass and it's done. I don't have to go over multiple times to achieve, you know, the quality we want. 
On Lakeside, with about 80 acres of Bermuda rough, uh, we mow that in about a day. A little, little under a day, actually. Uh, with enough time for the guys to come in and get the mowers washed up, uh, being able to knock the rough out, uh, and then move on to other things the next day uh, has greatly improved our productivity. I can take two guys across the course in one week versus before I needed three different types of mowers to get across the course, and obviously you got to man all those mowers at the same time. So it's, it's huge. I'd like another one, actually. <laughs> now with this unit, we can actually catch up, and if we miss a day or two, we're not, we don't feel like we're behind the eight ball and trying to get back it out and get, it, and get it mowed. In a way, it's a slight insurance policy because of the fact that you know you can get around so much faster. Well, I think efficiency has been a huge increase. We're mowing somewhere between 40 to 50 acres of rough, and it takes 16 to 20 man hours versus 75 before we got the unit. And to get this piece of equipment that came in and do the quality, the efficiency, just everything it's done, it's, it's helped us out immensely. One of the biggest secondary selling points of the unit to me is the ease of adjusting the height of cut. Never really have been one to play with height to cut much. It was always a sit it and forget it kind of thing. But the day after the mower was delivered, I actually lowered it to three quarters of an inch, went out and mowed behind my verticut unit. So with a piece of machinery that takes 10 to 15 minutes to, to change it from an inch and a half down to three quarters of an inch to go out and perform a totally different task is something that I've never really been been involved with. You could literally, I could change it right here in the field if I had to and not even go back to the shop. It's just simply amazing. It's so versatile so you know we could use it to mow rough. We've also used it to mow fairways and then also uh, we were in a situation where our core destroyer broke down and we came with the idea we'll just lower this down to half inch put on some old blades and we were using it as a quarter store as well. I have a lot of gophers and they create mounds on the course and with your real mowers and even your front deck mowers you really don't want to go over you're going to hammer the blades but what those rollers do is just smooth that out you can just go straight over it. As a technician I'm always looking at a machine of okay what's going to break first? What am I going to have to put my hands on the most? You don't want a machine that you can walk up on it and see the weak link. Uh, so I was looking at how strong the machine was built uh, the thick metal that it's built out of uh, and I knew that it was going to spend very 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 little time in my shop. So you've only got grease points, uh, PTO shaft and one hydraulic line. With other motors you've got miles and miles of hydraulic lines and hydraulic pumps and motors and all kinds of stuff that are uh, that are just endless amounts of, of labor and and uh, time and the machine's not in the field. This machine stays in the field all the time. It's kind of sold on the on the the durability, the way the machine is built, the quality of the engineering and the design. You can tell it's well thought out, well engineered, something that we're not really used to seeing in the golf business. You know, I've decreased operator time in the seat, I've decreased the amount of maintenance, the amount of blade sharpening, the amount of greasing that we've had to do. The rollers are a huge seller. We don't have any caster wheels to worry about. The blades are absolutely phenomenal. The three and a half inch blades, and nothing I've ever seen in the industry before. Instead of it being a trade off of, oh, well, it, it cuts great, but I might have some issues with this, but it cuts so great that I, I'm going to sacrifice it being in my shop. There was no sacrifice for this. I knew it was not going to be in my shop very long. There's machines that I have to touch daily uh, everything daily and if this one is a look it over make sure the blades are sharp uh, give it a shot of grease and done then that's more time that I can focus on other things greasing down to five or ten minutes you know nothing nothing like the other units where we were having to you know spend hours greasing them every day oh yeah with me um, I don't have to worry about all that grease all of that greasing is delaminated. I can grease this thing about like five minutes. That's all it takes, five minutes. Once upon a time, you had a uh, uh, rough mow, it take hours. Uh, the quicker I can get out of here, the quicker I can get it done. And this is exactly what this uh, Trimax do. It, it makes it get the job done quicker and much smoother and even look much better. As of so far, I mean, it's, it's surpassed our expectations. It's really done a great job. 
So membership notices that we're paying a lot more attention to detail out here, uh, getting to things that we never dreamed of getting to before. We're looking for stuff to do instead of, you know, wishing we could do stuff. It's, it's quiet. It is very, it's a very low rumble, muffled sound when this machine is mowing, where there's other pull behinds that have a real high pitch whine to them. There's very little disturbance when you're mowing rough here and there's a hole right next to it, very little disturbance to the golfers on the other hole. The old machines that we've had, the, the mower themselves, you know, I mean, they just make so much, it's just a roar. And that thing, you can barely hear it moving, you know, back there, I, mean, I guess that's why they call it the snake. <laughs> Being able to lift the decks with, without turning the PTO off uh, and drop right back down over a cart path and drop down on another spot and keep right on going and never, never stop, turn the PTO on, they don't have to do that. It's, it's just pick them up, drop them right back down and keep going. The crosscut is great. It's a great feature to have on it. It's easy to jump curbs, easy to pick up. You know, the other, other units, it's just hard to make those, those sharp turns to get back online. So absolutely, crosscut is great. You know, if you're looking to stripe up a little bit, it's a nice feature to where you can pick up turn and you can go ahead and, and make those turns and, and give that striping pattern to your roughs and kind of give it a little bit more definition outside the fairway cut. In my professional opinion, bang for your buck, you, you're not going to find a, a more comparable unit with this setup that I have here. With the Trimax and that Kubota together, you know, I can add several pieces of other equipment and still not equal the price of one of those self-contained units. I bought a tractor and a, and a Trimax for the same price as a self-propelled unit, and it, it does twice the work. Faster, too. It's way faster. Take a chance and, and demo it, at least look at it and compare the two, and I think you'll be surprised the cut quality versus your current self-contained unit or a real-type unit. I would say at the very least get a demo, uh, check it out, because you know when you see it in action and you see the quality of cut behind it, uh, I think it's going to win you over. Once we saw it, uh, we both drove off on the cart talking and both of us had a big grin on our face like, yeah, this is, this is what we've been looking for, something that can mow more grass faster. You, you won't find a better cut and rough unit, better cut and rotary unit on the market. I don't, I don't care, hands down, you will not find a better cut and rotary unit anywhere in golf.